Welcome, Algebra 3 kids that want to learn a little extra by watching my videos. Um, so this is Lesson 1, Geometry Review, and we have a little extra vocabulary at the beginning. So an angle is the rotation of its ray about its endpoint. So right here we have an angle, the initial side down here and the terminal side here. So this inside angle might be 30 degrees and we can actually start on the same initial side and do a full circle all the way around and end on the terminal side. And we have another angle that is the same and these are called coterminal angles. So if you add 360, or you guys will learn how to also subtract 360. Those angles are coterminal and they will end in the same spot. All right, so here we have a problem. We have uh, the radius of a circle is pi centimeters and the base of the triangle is pi centimeters. The area of the circle equals the area of the triangle. What is the height of the triangle? So let's start with the formulas. So we've got the area of a circle which equals the area of a triangle. And this time, the radius is pi. We're going to plug that in. And over here, the base is pi. So we want to solve for h. So pi is not a variable, it is a number. So we can actually just isolate the h right here by multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 2 over pi. And then, of course, we have to do that on the other side. And what happens is the pi's cancel, and we get 2 pi squared equals h. All right, so calculate that, and we get 19.739. And then we need our units, so that would be centimeters, and just centimeters because we're finding the height of the triangle. All right, so an equilateral triangle has an altitude of 3 root 6 centimeters and an area of 18 root 3 centimeters squared. What is the perimeter of the triangle? Okay, so we're going to start with an equilateral triangle, which means all the sides are the same. And we've got the altitude, which is the height of the triangle, right down the middle, but 3 root 6. Um, so they give us the area, which is helpful. We do know the formula for the area of a triangle, so we can say that 18 root 3, the area, is equal to base times height divided by 2. And we also can plug in the height. So we need to simplify this. I like to get rid of this fraction here first, so multiply both sides by 2. And when you multiply with radicals, only multiply these two numbers, so that's 36 root 3. And then we need to isolate the b, so we're going to divide by 3 root 6. So you can simplify outside numbers and you can simplify inside numbers. So this reduces here. 3 goes into 36, 12 times. And this is kind of weird, but we can reduce these to 1 half because they're both inside numbers. And then we have to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So we get 12 root 2 over 2. And this simplifies again, the 12 and the 2 here. This becomes 6 root 2. So we found the base. So this distance is what we just found. But it says, what is the perimeter of the triangle? So each of these are 6 root 2. So we're going to add those three together. When we add radicals, you actually don't add the root 2. It's kind of like a variable. So we're really just adding the 6, the 6, and the 6. 
And so that actually gives me 18 of the root twos. And we're doing perimeter, so we need centimeters. All right. So another problem, we've got the central angle of the shaded sector measures 40 degrees. The radius of the circle is 3 root 3 meters. Find the area of the sector. So formula for sector, which you guys learned in Algebra 2, is theta over 360 times pi r squared. So we have the area of the whole circle times the fraction of the circle that we want. So we're going to plug in the angle. So this theta is always the angle, the central angle right here. So 40 over 360. And then times pi, and now we're squaring that radical, 3 root 3. That whole thing gets plugged in. So we can start simplifying here. Those zeros can cancel. 4 goes into 4 one time, and this becomes 1 ninth here. Uh, when you square a radical, you need to square both pieces. So this is going to become 9. And then when we square a square root, it undoes the root. And those multiply together. But I already see that I can cross cancel here, so I'm going to simplify right there in that step. So now I have 1 times pi times 3, which gives me 3 pi, and then we can calculate what that would be on our calculator. And that is 9.425. And we're doing area, so this is measured in meters, so we want meters squared for our unit.